of 6 Maintenance Minute, we're going to take a look at replacing the carbon seal and the mating ring of the accessory gearbox of the CF6 ADC2 or ADE1. So we'll start by removing the nuts, securing the carbon seal into position. And then we'll use a pair of jack screws of the appropriate size. That's the purpose of the additional threaded holes in the carbon seal assembly itself. And they're hand tight. And we're going to alternate back and forth, tighten a little bit one side, tighten a little on the other. Keep the carbon seal nice and even as the jack screws push it away from the accessory gearbox. There we go. And there's the carbon seal. With the carbon seal removed, we can now remove the mating ring. That's the purpose of this tool here. So we're gonna pull the sleeve completely back, expose these flexible fingers, and get those fingers around our mating ring. Anytime we replace a carbon seal, we want to replace the mating ring as well. Consider them sort of a match set. So with the fingers now around my mating ring, I can push the sleeve, Just make those fingers sort of grab onto the mating ring. And then this screw here will push against the input shaft of the gearbox and pull the mating ring out of its recess. And there we are. New mating rings often come pre-kitted uh, with a packing on the inside diameter. So whether uh, the, the mating ring is pre-kitted with that packing or it is not, and you're installing a new one yourself, we're going to remove it. This is one of the newer procedures I was talking about earlier. We're going to completely coat this packing with white phonoline or white petroleum jelly. It's been found that the white petrolatum, petro petroleum jelly, whatever you want to call it, uh, does a much better job in lubricating the packing than the engine oil that we used to use in the past. And now we'll simply reinstall it. Now we don't want to leave any of that petroleum jelly, petrolatum, on the actual contact surface of the mating ring. So we're going to remove it with a soft, clean wiper with some uh, isopropyl alcohol applied to it. And we'll do that again after installation, just to make sure. One of the things that shortens the life of a carbon seal is actually insufficient lubrication between the spring-loaded carbon of the seal and then the housing itself. So this is another new part of the procedure. What we're going to do is completely submerge that carbon seal in engine oil, carbon seal side up. We're going to depress it. Oh, getting some good bubbles out of it. Press it a few times. As you know, it's spring-loaded. Press it till all the air bubbles come out. And then we're gonna let it sit for about five minutes. Okay, now our five minutes have elapsed. So we're gonna remove the carbon seal from our tub of clean engine oil. I'm gonna do what we can to dry out the excess. And then we'll wipe the actual carbon seal surface itself with, again, a clean cotton wiper soaked in isopropyl alcohol, or there's also a, a solvent specified in the procedure. And just get some of this excess off. Okay, and just like the mating ring, we're going to lubricate the packing of the carbon seal with white petrolatum. which obviously makes it a little extra slippery, which is the idea. 
And I'm sure you've seen this before. I like to use a, a piece of discarded packing material. Do a couple revolutions around that O-ring just to make sure we didn't store any twisting energy in it. And we're ready for installation. On the mating ring, you'll notice these four rotational tabs that are part of the assembly. Then inside the, uh, the drive here, you'll find the four slots that these tabs slot into. So the mating ring uh, is able to rotate with the, uh, the drive pad of the gearbox. So with the mating ring and the installation tool here, what I'm going to do is just by eye, I'm going to look at the location of my tabs, look at the location of the slots that they are to fit into, and I'm going to deliberately misalign them just a little bit. Press into position. I'm going to rotate, click, until I feel that mating ring click. Those tabs have engaged in their slots. I know the mating ring is fully seated. All right, so now, before installing our carbon seal, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to do a, a final isopropyl alcohol wipe on the surface of the mating ring as well as the carbon seal itself and all that residual oil off. And we're going to put a little dab of the white petroleum jelly on this inside diameter right here where the carbon seal is going to be installed. Now we're ready for the carbon seal. I'm going to put it in place. And then now this is one of the things that has changed as well. Rather than to push and sort of snap the carbon seal into position by hand, we want to avoid that shock to the carbon. So we're going to use the nuts to draw it into position instead. So we'll slowly and evenly tighten the nuts. Make sure there's no binding. Till they are snug. And then we would apply our final specified torque value. Okay, that's it for replacing the carbon seal and the mating ring of the accessory gearbox of the CF680C2 or 80E1.